What's going on, family? It's your boy. I am back from Rio de Janeiro, and I had an amazing time. So, um, what I have to do now is water my plants. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to water my plants, and I'll kind of like speed the video up a little bit, put a little lo-fi hip-hop on there, and I'll just tell you about my days. I believe it should have been uh, about five days worth of um, me being out there. So I'll just kind of go day by day, just drop a couple um, pictures in there, a couple selfies, might throw some videos in there. I've seen some dope plants out there. Um, I had a really great time. If ever you're looking to go to the, uh, Rio de Janeiro, definitely go. Um, it was really amazing. Um, even when it rained, it was still amazing. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna just get into me watering my plants and stuff like that, checking up on different things. Uh, a couple, uh, leaves definitely died. A couple bodies dropped. Um, yeah, but I mean, that's, that happened. Um, there's not a lot of plants that died or whatnot, so it's still looking good. Some plants I had to rearrange. I'll try to show you some plants and things like that, but yeah, I had a fun time. I pretty much went for my birthday. Um, I flew Air Canada, which, eh, I'm just getting back. Uh, you know, some things happen, um, but I don't want it to skew the experience that I had in Rio, because it wasn't really kind of Rio's um, problem. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna go through the video. I'll drop some photos and some videos. And um, I mean, if this is a video that you're gonna watch and replant, I mean, cool, you're just gonna hear my voice. I'm gonna do some voiceover over me, um, showing some plants and different stuff and just going through each of my day. But, uh, yeah, so, you know, if you ever been to Rio, tell me your experience, because really, it was fun for me. Um, I think I did all the most popular things, the, um, well, I guess I won't tell you, I'll just go through each of the videos, and I'll show you what I did, tell you what I did, and, yeah, I'm gonna keep it groovy like that, but, you know, um, yeah, here we go, let's start. Okay, so let's do this. So, um, I get there pretty much Sunday, um, pretty much like in the afternoon or whatnot. So I don't really have too much planned out for that Sunday, but, uh, myself and my company go to pretty much get something to eat and just kind of like check the space and see, um, you know, where we are living. We stayed in an Airbnb. I didn't actually get pictures or videos of the airbnb which is pretty crazy because i normally do that but maybe i was you know i don't know maybe a little bit on vacation mode i wasn't probably thinking about it but um yeah pretty we pretty much uh found this like um kind of burger spot or whatnot it's probably a pretty common thing over there for them to eat burgers or whatnot so that was pretty cool so the next day we get up and uh, I believe we got breakfast, if I'm not mistaken. But um, uh, I had already planned out going to see Christ the Redeemer. So I'm going to show a couple um, videos of us kind of like getting there. And uh, we took the train up there. So I think that there are like two different ways that you can get up there. To, up there, you can get up there by train, which uh, train was pretty dope. Or you can take like a bus or whatnot it was kind of like not a bus but it was kind of like a van or whatnot but i think i rather the train because i feel like a car full of people um i guess i don't really know it's kind of weird or whatnot but at least i know the train is gonna go like off track and like take us some weird type of place or something like that you know what i mean because i'm in another country so i just i just want to make sure I'm, I, I, I make it back you know what i mean because you know i kind of like me but um the train was pretty dope um, as you kind of see, um, we're pretty much kind of like walking up there. So once you get off the train, there's probably a few, I mean, probably maybe about a hundred steps to kind of walking up to the Redeemer. There's also like a cafe on the other side or whatnot. If you're not really good at 
Portuguese definitely have a translator because it helps. Um, but over there they had like burgers and stuff like that, um, like uh, coffee or whatnot. And I got me an espresso, which was pretty interesting. I mean, we're in uh, Brazil, so I thought, why not get one of those? But um, I'm not a meat eater, so it really wasn't anything for me to eat. But um, pictures up there was pretty dope. I also got to see a christening, so I thought that, that was pretty amazing. Um, we actually got to see like a monkey up there um, because pretty much Rio is all kind of like jungle or whatnot. For, uh, yeah, jungle like. Um, and it's funny, uh, I didn't get a video of it, but a lady had some uh, Cheerios and she was trying to, in one hand, hand the monkey a Cheerio, but the monkey had other plans. Grabbed the bowl that she had the Cheerios in and dumped it on the ground. Um, so I thought that, that was kind of funny, but I didn't actually get a picture of it, but or a video of it. But I thought that, that was pretty cool. So yeah. So this is uh, a view from the top. Um, they did have an escalator, but it was on the other side where we did not see. But we walked up the stairs, which was still pretty good because you can see on the other side, which was pretty dope. Um, there are definitely a lot of people, so you got to make your way around there to get your photo. But, I mean, it was still dope. Um, here is a video of a christening, which I thought was pretty dope because there is an actual church in the back of the Redeemer, which is even more dope. Um, you know, just pretty cool to do that. Coming up, I'm gonna drop a dope picture of me um, getting around my photo. Like I said, you just gotta make your way around there because there are a lot of people out there, but you know, people find their way to take their pictures. Here's another view. Um, just kind of showing you the scene and it was really cloudy and sometimes the clouds overtake Christ. So we came on a really good day, to tell you the truth. Um, and I'll show you from another view um, just how good we had it. So, of course, that's another photo of me coming down looking all spiffy. And then we also saw this here. It's just some type of memo. I forgot the name of it. But it was pretty dope. It looked like it was eating some chocolate or something. And then this is us coming down pretty much off the other side or whatnot. And I mean, it was a really beautiful view. Um, they play like a little music on there, but of course I didn't want to play the music so I can do the um, the voiceover and then add my own music or whatnot. And then I don't want those copyright infringes, you know what I'm talking about. So just check the view out. So after being at the top where uh, uh, Christ the Redeemer was, we found ourselves at the Silurian Staircase. Um, it's made famous, I mean, of course, by him, but I found out about this through Pharrell's and Snoop Dogg's um, beautiful video or whatnot, which they came here and, um, you know, made a video. And we also went to the other place, but you'll see that on another day. But um, there are a lot of tourists here. Um, you had to wait in a line to take a pictures on it, um, which was pretty cool. The line wasn't long. People took their pictures and got the heck up out of there. You didn't see anybody that was, you know, staying there too long. And then, you know, I shot my little music video. Here we go. Uh, uh, okay, there we go. There we go. And then I added um, beautiful to it once I posted it on Instagram. But... Um, it was pretty cool, and they sold food out there, souvenirs, which we came back on the last day to grab some souvenirs. Um, here you have a person making a caprahina. That is Brazilian's uh, signature drink. Um, to me, it was kind of like a mojito, just kind of like their version. Here you have this mom and her son um, making it for pretty much everybody. Um, Everything over there is pretty inexpensive as far as food and stuff like that. So um, here I think that it was six, six Rio or something like that. But 
in USD. I believe that was probably like a dollar and like 30 cent, 40 cent. The current exchange is um, one real to 19 cents USD. So the money um, currency is really good over there, especially, um, you know, buying food. We ate a lot for almost nothing, really. Um, but yeah, check them out. to go down. So also these drinks come in different flavors, um, which one thing I really like is because they actually use fruit um, in it. So they'll mix it up and everything like that and crush it up in there. And that's me. You already know about to get, uh, get down, you know. But they actually have the fruit there, and they'll crush it up and put it in the actual drink. Shout out to anybody from Texas. I got my boys from Texas, so they flat to shout them out. But um, that was another great thing. It wasn't like syrup. They actually used real fruit, so it was actually really amazing. Um, and then here, we're going from downtown. Very beautiful. It was very green over there. Like I said, it's pretty much like a city built in the forest on the side of a um, mountain. Um, so this is me getting ready, thinking I was about to do some samba, I mean some uh, salsa, but I actually was doing a samba class, uh, which was definitely different than what I was just doing. So here we have my boy Bruno, um, and Bruno is a really good uh, samba dancer. He also does other dances as well. Um, and he taught this class, and the class was really, really fun. I mean, he was a really fun person. He speaks English, Portuguese, and I think he speaks another language. Um, down below, I'll make sure to add his um, Airbnb uh, event. Um, I think the class was about um, $40 a person, which, honestly, I would have paid more, um, being as though... Uh, he taught us to dance. Um, it was about maybe about six, seven of us in there or whatnot. Um, he taught the class. He also took us out for, um, took us out to Salt of Rock, I believe it is. It's in Little Africa, which I thought was so interesting that there's a little Africa in Brazil. And it's a lot of history in that. Pretty much slaves were um, kept there. They had to bring salt up the uh, mountain. And um, at the bottom is where the slaves lived. Um, and pretty much they, after the revolution, pretty much made it their own. So it'll be some videos that I'm going to show a little bit later. But go ahead and check Bruno out with his dance moves. So like I said, here we are in Pedro do Sol. I hope I'm saying that right. If I'm not, I apologize. Um, but it, it is a historic landmark. So um, you definitely can find this place. I definitely recommend it. I felt safe being there. Um, I really didn't have much on me. So I mean, it wasn't like... So it's not like uh, anybody would take anything from me. But honestly, it was a pretty good vibe. Um, Everybody seemed pretty friendly. Um, I mean, there was a, a lot, a lot, a lot of food out there. So if you want some like real authentic food, man, this is definitely the place to be. Like really good food. I mean, as soon as you walk out there and you smell all that food, it's amazing. Um, they got drinks out there. They got plates out there. Um, people are selling like souvenirs and stuff like that. Um, I had a good time that night. Didn't even know that it was going to happen. Um, they have DJs out there. Um, they got live music out there. Um, I took a video of a trombonist. He was getting off, my boy. He was getting off. Um, I had a really good time out there. Um, 
definitely if you visit Rio, you got to visit there. You want a nighttime scene. Um, it was pretty dope. So I hope that uh, you guys can find your way there. And yeah. Yeah, as you can see, that boy got off, right? So now we're on to the next day here. We went to the Tajuka National Park, uh, which was really dope. It's a rainforest out there, which they have a multitude of rainforests out there. Um, so it's easy to find a tour out there, which was really great because we found somebody that knew what they were talking about. And that's me looking cool. Um, but here we have Roberto. The man was crazy, but he knew his stuff. Um, and he's also certified here in Rio. Um, he knows the people. He knows um, how to talk a pretty good game. So he really looked out for us, honestly. So um, through this, you'll see different, um, you'll see different videos and pictures of like different rainforests. And then here he has a um, tree um, growing across another tree, which I thought was pretty dope. So there's actually two trees within this one tree, which I found to be very interesting, um, that a tree can be uh, kind of like an aeroid almost. Um, here you have like this like Patricia type plant, which I was like, oh my God, if I live there, I'm not gonna lie to you, you're probably chopping, I'll probably chop that thing down um, just a little bit here. It got some type of anthurium, looks really good. So I definitely took a picture of it. I thought it was pretty dope. Um, and then there's some type of dragon type, philodendron type thing there. And then this surprised the heck out of me. It looked like a Florida ghost almost, pretty much. Might be actual Florida ghost, which I thought was very interesting. Here I finally got into the waterfall, and that water was super, super cold. And it was raining, and the rain was warm, and that water was like California water. I mean, if you ever been to California and got in that water, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. Put your shower on the coldest temperature, and that's exactly what it was. Here was a big uh, snail. And I ain't never seen nothing this thing going big. It's probably bigger than my hand. I definitely didn't pick it up because I don't play them games. But, um, yeah, I thought that that was so dope. Um, okay, so now we're on to the night of my birthday. Dressed up, went to a, a Japanese-Brazilian spot. It was really, really good. The food was really, really good. Um, I ate a lot of pretty much rice and vegetables and stuff like that. And that melted cheese that they had, boy, let me tell you, boy, let me tell you. Um, this is my first kind of Brazilian spot. They definitely looked out for the boy. It was pretty great. I don't like to be sung to, but I was like, hey, it's my birthday, whatever. So that was pretty good. Um, but yeah. So later that night, we went on a boat um which i thought was pretty fun um it was pretty live or whatnot so it was a halloween party so of course i dressed up i didn't really get any um pictures of me in my outfit i went as a pharaoh because why not um but the music was live um there was some music played in english which i thought would be pretty interesting like some beyonce they had some dre some snoop um so I thought that that was pretty fun. Um, the people there just, they just partied. They loved it. So this here is the next day. Definitely checking out some Singonians, some Burley Marks. They just had a mess kind of like 
um, kind of street plants. I almost I thought was pretty interesting. Uh, big, burly, um, uh, not burly moxies, but um, golden pothos climbing up a tree, which I thought was very, very interesting. I love to see those plants grow so dang on big. And then we have these little plants here, but it was pretty cool. So later that night, we went to a game, um, the Flamingo, which is the soccer team there, which I thought was pretty dope. Um, being able to go to the team, I mean, go to see the game because they are live, man. That stadium got filled so quick and they get their flags and their drums and they was banging on everything. So if you go to Rio, you got to go to a soccer game. Like highly recommend it. That's me drinking beer. I don't like beer. Um, I like apple cider. I think that that's pretty good, but the beer is disgusting. But um, the game was pretty live. Uh, those people love their teams, you know what I mean? And I had a jersey on and everything like that, so I was definitely in the crowd. I did this as a tour as well um, because, I mean, it's easy to have somebody that translates, and it makes it a lot better. So this is me the next morning um, getting breakfast. And like I said, food over there is cheap, so this is probably about maybe 10 20 bucks. In the States, that's about at least 30 bucks or whatnot. Um, I had a lot. I ate a lot of acai, acai bowls. Um, had some espressos because why not, right? Um, this is me on the beach. There were a lot of flags. They had pretty much every type of flag, LGBT flags in every country that you could think of. Um, this is just us riding. Um, yeah, just being a tourist, just taking videos and pictures and stuff like that, so... Yeah. So this was kind of like the last day, so we ended up going back to the stairs to get um, more pictures and souvenirs because, of course, they had really good souvenirs there. They really took a picture. I believe this is the Burley Mark, some type of uh, philodendron, but it was really nice. So we also ended up going to the National Park there, Tajuka, um, which was really dope. It's like um, kind of like a botanical garden, pretty much. Um, as you see that there is this uh, Gloriosa, and there's like a feel on them, man. It was very gorgeous outside at that growing this nicely. So um, I was definitely feeling this, and this is in the beginning. So you know it had to be real nice out there. Um, this is me near this big old monster. Look at this. I don't know what form this is, but this thing is gorgeous. That thing bigger than my whole chest. Yeah, that thing's sexy there. Come on now, hey. So this is just more videos, just walking around. Try not to be on my phone too much. That up there is Jesus the Redeemer, Christ the Redeemer. Like I said, it get cloudy up there. So we definitely went on a good day. This is some little um, kind of man-made little cave they made or whatnot, which I thought was pretty dope. Um, definitely went through there, explored it. Kind of looked scary, but, you know, it's uh, it was very, very nice. Definitely a nice place to take some pictures and stuff like that. Um, yeah, it was pretty great out there. So also, when you go out there and you want to go to this, um, I believe it's called Parquet. Um, they like National Tajuka. It's another place that um, Snoop Dogg and Pharrell did their uh, beautiful video, which when you go there, you have to, in order to eat in the restaurant, you have to do a reservation. So make sure you go up there and do a reservation. It only took about 15 minutes. So uh, we just went up here and explored pretty much. Um, just to look at the different scenery and stuff like that. I could have definitely spent a longer time than I did in there. I was probably in there maybe about an hour, hour and a half. Um, but yeah, no, this place was really, really dope. So here you got me just kind of exploring the, um, the kind of like cave-like thing or whatnot, just kind of going through there and 
Um, I'm about 5'10", so you can see that, you know, it's pretty um, big. You don't really have to scrouch down in there or whatnot. So um, it was really nice or whatnot. So I definitely recommend going to Parquet, um, the National, kind of like Botanical, I'm guessing that's what it was. And this is just more videos, kind of like the outside. You can see like the little cave type thing. I thought it was pretty dope. Definitely a place to get some uh, videos and um, photos of. So of course, this is us on the inside. We are now walking to our table. Um, there's a big pool there. If you watch the beautiful video, you'll see that pool there and kind of recognize the place a little bit. So um, it was really great. We met some really great people, sat down and ate with them. Um, what would, you know, Botanical Garden be without an actual banana tree, right? So it was actually fun. Food was good. Like I said, food was very inexpensive. So, um, yeah, it was good. And, I mean, that's pretty much it there. Um, like I said, it was about four or five days there. Um, I definitely highly recommend going. Um... It was so fun. I found all my tours off of Airbnb. I'll try to put them down in the description. Um, Bruno and Roberto, thank you so much for making it easier on me and my group. And it was so much fun. I definitely will be going back again because I'm sure there's some things that I did not do. Um, and I love going to the rainforest and it was inexpensive. I really could have drove there by myself, but of course having a tour guide is amazing. So the next time around, I'm just, uh, get an Uber there and Uber is very inexpensive too. 30 minute drive is probably about $2, um, if that. So, um, I definitely, like I said, I highly recommend it. Very inexpensive for, uh, American, uh, money or whatnot. Like I said, it's probably like a dollar real which is the name of their money to usd um american money so um i had a great time um i loved the food over there i love our airbnb i love the people over there everybody showed us love um yeah it was pretty great so um last of what i'm doing up here just kind of throwing up my hoyas um and yeah i had a lot of fun All right, and we are pretty much done here. So um, I'm glad you guys stayed around to the end to get my experience. Like I said, I had fun. Um, the money there is like $1 to 19 cents. So, you know, that's that's amazing. Your money pretty much go far. All the food was pretty good. Our, the Airbnb, like I said, was pretty good. All the adventures were good. What I'll do is if I can, I'll drop them below um the experience and the tours and stuff like that that i went on the different soccer games and the forest stuff uh all stuff that i kind of recommend um if ever you're trying to go to rio and just have a pretty much good time not spend a lot of money um yeah it's kind of sad that I, uh that they lost my bags but i still have faith um it's only been about a day so by the time this video go up it'll be about maybe four or five days um, I try to drop these videos on Friday, um, but yeah, I, I had a lot of fun. Would I go back again? Hell yeah. There's a couple different things, of course, I do different. I'm, of course, like my bag tag and, you know, my bags and stuff like that. I would look at it a little different and, you know, just, it's a learning experience. Um, I like to travel abroad. Um, so, you know, that's just kind of my thing. The next thing I want to do is, you know, with some friends, go to Europe. Um, my cousin, you know, I talked about it with a friend and my um, cousin hit me up about it. I had a best friend that hit me up about it. So for sure, I'll be touring Europe next or whatnot. I don't think it'll be many plants there. So I don't know what I'll be talking about during that time. Probably doing the same thing. But um yeah i like to travel ever since i've been in the military the navy shout out to the navy um but yeah definitely down below tell me your experience of rio if you've ever been or south america because i've also been to colombia which is also pretty dope there too 
um, drop down some different places that you're thinking of going and why you know why you want to go there. Um, that'd be dope for me because I like to travel, honestly. So if you give me a place, I look it up. It look like it's tight. Look like my money gonna be right. Look like there's some good Airbnbs because I'm an Airbnb person. So um, yeah, go ahead and drop that below. Um, yeah, just you know, just kind of I appreciate you being here, grooving out with your boy. As always, thank you, thank you, thank you again for the birthday wishes. Um, off on Instagram, off on Facebook. I really appreciate you. You guys definitely make my birthday special. I really appreciate you guys. And yeah, let's keep on rocking. And as always, love, peace, and plants. <laughs>